Hi, this is Living with Creativity again, one more time. This vlog is a little bit different. Uh, I decided to have a fun trip, family trip to my country, Peru, in, um, in March 6. was zero, but zero people infected by this virus and I thought what is what will be the possibilities that this virus get bigger in the three weeks that I will be in here with my family I know I was really irresponsible should I cancel it knowing I didn't thought it would be a huge deal it wasn't a huge deal in my city either when I leave and when I have my residence in there when I leave in the United States so I was thinking I think that if I have my precautions and all that I take, I take all my family and I really here I have a lot of plans go to the zoo and places so that my girls can know the way that I was living when I was little like them but everything changed really quickly as soon as I get to Peru the first day was the first person infected in Lima, Peru Hoy, debo informar que en horas de la madrugada se ha confirmado el primer caso de infección por coronavirus COVID-19 en nuestro país Everything was fine, but the infected started growing. The person came from Europe, and then he infected all his families and friends that were with him. Um, the thing is that um, we we have a couple of days, really fun couple of days, with my family and my girls, enjoying really much. Sunday the president came and started talking and, and saying that if the country will be in a state of emergency and everything will be shut down. Y de manera unánime, un decreto supremo que declara el estado de emergencia nacional por las graves circunstancias que afectan la vida de la nación a consecuencia del coronavirus. Restaurants bars, nightclubs, anybody can leave the house only for going to groceries or uh, going to the pharmacy or maybe if you feel sick you can go to the hospital for what is this city always look like when we came here the noise of cars was unbelievable cars everywhere and buses and, and bikes and motorcycles and it was really noisy and now barely you can hear only voices once in a while or uh, the police talking to each other or uh, setting us go to um, the thing is that uh, the most frustrating I believe for my husband uh, was for uh, when they said that nobody can get out or get in from the country so the airport is closed tendrá una vigencia de 15 días calendario implica el aislamiento social obligatorio de nuestra población durante este periodo garantizamos el abastecimiento de alimentos medicinas durante el estado de emergencia quedan restringidos el ejercicio de los derechos constitucionales relativos a la libertad y a la seguridad personales y la inviolabilidad del domicilio y la libertad de reunión y de tránsito en el territorio nacional. Durante el estado de emergencia se dispone el cierre total de las fronteras, en virtud de lo cual queda suspendido el transporte internacional de pasajeros por medio terrestre, aéreo, marítimo y fluvial. So... By this time, day two, 
uh, we changed our flight like, three times. First, my flight was like uh, a scheduled flight, March 27. Uh, that was the day that we really put it since the beginning. Um, but we changed it to 20th, and then there was cancel. And then after that, we uh, called today and said, what is the possibility that we can uh, leave like maybe 30th or 1st, just when the, uh, the quarantine is uh, putting up? Or what is the idea to uh, leave maybe the 1st or the 2nd? So if we found out, we found an airplane that can take us um, April 3rd, uh, really late. Everything was is changed. Everything is different now. Uh, this place that I am right now is an apartment um, that we did it with Airbnb. Um, we're really happy with this place. I, everybody is really comfortable in here. We really uh, we are a really little far up away from where my mom and my family live. Uh, that is the most part that I'm frustrated because we are so close and so far in the same time but um, I think in the beginning I didn't take it seriously and I should I I know that they should and they shouldn't count anymore but I should said uh, I will can no cancel maybe change it or something to the airline and see what we, they can do about it uh, and postpone this trip for the good of my family that I know that right now they must be getting really frustrated uh, because they don't see me that much um, we planned this trip like four, for four years finally I was super excited but well life is life you can really not control all these. I cannot control all these. I wish that I can, but I cannot. So I need to try to make the best of it. Try to play safe for for my family, for my kids, for myself, and um, do what the president said. The president from Peru said. So I need to just stay at home and don't go anywhere. Um, more than going by groceries. The stuff are limited, so you can only bring two, and then you cannot find more than that. You cannot find like toilet paper, you cannot find a like, paper towel, and um, soap, like uh, those disinfectant uh, wipes gone, and all that. Um, I bought what I needed, no more than that, just what I needed, because I know that other people can need it too. Over there is a person that's driving a bike, probably um, leaving work because in here is a hotel room. It's at the Thunderbird in Pardo Avenue. All that is a Pardo, Pardo Avenue we call it. All the way over the town is Larco. There's a lot of buildings. There's a pier. Um, this avenue is really busy. Right now it's 9 p.m. The police. It's the only the only car that you will see.
is what it is. I will keep post. I will keep uh, recording day by day. This is day two. Um, and, and that's it. I wish me luck. And see you next time. Bye bye.